I am a tyrant that you should trust, and you should let me run your life. What's up everybody, True Grave right here. So in this video I'm going to show you some of my favorite Fallout 4 weapon mods and just other cool things that people have created. Let me know in the comments below what you like, what you don't like, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and show you what they look like, how they reload, the type of damage that they do, and also how they kill. Before I get into anything, I just want to tell you guys that I made this video and in the process of editing I realized that my game audio didn't come through. So you can see all these dead assaultrons. This is the testing ground. So this is <laughs> this little uh, sneak preview of what's about to go. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's get into the video. So we're going to start this off with the AER-15Q1 MK4 Mod 1. Now there's a couple variants to this guns and basically what happens is the current mod section on the right that you can see you can change them all up and at the very bottom of that you can see wavelength where it says 400 nm that's the strongest damage that this can do at the distance that it can shoot short even though it's really not so that being said there's a couple of them that i show you with a different wavelength and there's a bunch of other guns but some of these guns they're just different variables with munitions so keep that in mind but they're a lot of fun and they're pretty sick because they are their own each individual gun as opposed to just one gun and like you have to use this specific gun for those different ammo types no instead you can just run them all and run them up so sorry for the lengthy speech here we are it's gonna kick it off it's got its own neat little uh, uh, brandish to it so it's pretty neat the scope. Uh, before I toss this out, not with the sun. These are the shots that I can do. That's the sound, and it's just single shot. So good old Sultron. You can be your punching bag in this video, and you just got absolutely annihilated. We got the accelerated scope EG7P rifle. This is another one to the first one I just showed you, where it's got a couple different variables you can change. A couple things about it and depending on what you change will determine you know the rate of fire and things of that nature so I'm going to show you how it kills the good old Saltron this one just had a normal uh, you know normal brandish scope Choose these actually pretty neat so let's get a couple of these guys out with detective It absolutely annihilates them. Can't stand it. I have no idea what's going on. Never stood a chance. So we're gonna move on to the next one. So now I got three different big boys going on here. This one has a car launcher modification. As you can tell, it's gonna launch a couple cars. The two shot doesn't work. I don't know why the two shot doesn't work on some variants and some mods, but it is what it is. Just a normal brandish. As you can see, just fucking launches them. Sorry about the notification, don't pay attention to that. <laughs> yeah, they're just cruising, cruising along. So, that's the car launcher. Also launches a couple buses and things like that. Well, this time we're gonna add it. Good old Vault Tech truck. That's the car launcher. Let's move on to the next mod that it's got. This is the excellent launcher. This mod came out for the Easter event that they had. It's actually pretty sweet. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. And the two shot does work on this. You don't see the two shot, but when it happens, you'll know. So here's the excellent. This is what it looks like. When you shoot it, and it actually turns into a bird. You can see just all the Like that thing is just nasty. Nasty. <laughs> and then this third and final one for the big boy, we got the MIRV launcher. The two shot does work on it. Get ready. So here it is, and my RV two shot. Used to be four, 
now it's eight. This is crazy. Shoot it all the way in the <laughs> Alright, that's that. Let's get over to the next one. This one, also part of the Easter event. This is the Blue Easter Egg Nade. It's a cryogenic grenade, but it's a better one. Alright, so I'm gonna throw an assault tron out, and then I got to go and switch to the egg nade. Anomaly detected engaging. And just like that, crushed. Absolutely annihilated. Yeah, here's what it looks like uh, without it killing anyone. Pretty sweet. Pretty nice animation. This right here is just a funny one. It's a pretty nice one though. Got the bubble tea shooter. There's another variant I'm gonna show you later on. It's a little bit later down on the list, but I'm gonna show you the standard bubble tea shooter. Here's the bubble tea shooter. As you can see, it's rapid fire. I don't want to go too, too long. Going crazy, I'll screw up the sound and you know, crash the game. This is what the reload looks like. And now we bring out the Assaultron. He is, and he's taking some shots. Missing a little bit. Oh, don't want to melee. But this is what I want to do, so we're going to shoot him in the head. This thing's just going nuts. Doesn't really know what to make of it, but he decided to uh, get a little angry instead. Not like it really matters, he's not going to live through any of this. Let's get a couple critical shots on there. Finish it off with that. Now he starts running away. Don't run away. Finish it off, guy. Finish it off. Finish it off. Yeah, there we go. Next one's a lot stronger than this one. So this may look like your ordinary frag grenade, but it's not. It's a car. Have you ever wanted to just hurl a car at someone instead of having to actually shoot it? Well, now you can. So this is what it looks like. Tossing your own cars at people. Pretty neat. Now this one, we're going back to some of the Star Wars days. We've got the electrified, long, precise green lightsaber. And we're going to slice some enemies up. Show you how it works. This is what it looks like. It's got some, all the sound effects to it. It's got it by its side. Swing away a little bit. You can change the effects in the way that it looks like. The color and scheme and all that. How it holsters. Holster isn't working at the moment, but that's okay. That Assaultron is no more. This is the explosive black rocket swatter. The bullets explode on impact, doing 15 points area effect damage. You can customize it a little bit, but it's got some great damage, and I'm going to show you how it works. Here it is. There's Assaultron. Contact. It missed. <laughs> There's dead Assaultron. Home run. Nothing left. Rocket propelled. So yeah, that's how the swatter works. Here we got the Focus Tactical EG-7L rifle. This is another variant. A couple different things going on with the damage booster and the laser beam tuning. So again, show you how it works. See how it kills. Here's the brandish. It's pretty normal. The sight. Sound shoots. It's all single shot. Sounds pretty crazy though. There's the Assaultron, and there goes his leg. One shot, one kill. This one that we have here is the high capacity EE3 MK1 carbine. This is actually a Star Wars gun. They had a bunch of other ones. I was only able to find this one and one other. The other crates that I did find that was supposed to have them in. Didn't have the guns, it just had the ammo, so... Sounds a little funky with it, but I'm gonna show you what I got, see how it works.
pretty good brandish. It's got the scope on it. Not a bad little pea shooter. A little blue, so I can't really call it a pea shooter unless it's green. But still pretty neat. Get the assault trion out. And put him out of his misery. He spawns up and then just drops. And decided to self-destruct. All in one shot. Now, got plenty more to get through, so gonna move on with it. Here we got the Marksman calibrated powerful anti-material rifle. Just your standard 50 cal material, anti-material rifle, blow through any piece of armor. So let's see how it does against the assault shots. Not a bad brandish. Light vision on it. That's what it looks like when it shoots. Bolt action, of course, you know, it's gotta be bolt action. Get this guy out. See you later. Nothing left of him. Let's get on with the next one. Now, this one we have here is the Minuteman Gauze. Went all the way back to the beginning. Gave these guys their own gauze weapon. Now they can fight the good fight. It's pretty cool. Again, another one, like a multi custom. Make it however you want, change the grip, change the attachment slides, all that good stuff. Now on to the testing ground. Eh, it's a normal uh, brandish. Here's how it shoots, the fire rate's pretty slow. I mean, you know, you can see I'm literally just tap, tap, tap in a way. It's not doing anything that it's supposed to be doing. So, pretty slow, but it's like a truck. And I'm going to show you how it works. He is and no evasion. One shot, one kill. Just like that. You're gone. This one, pretty standard. Stick the legendary on it, but the never ending. Go in for a little bit, but after quite some time, you just keep on holding into it. It'll probably freeze or crash your game. So, don't want that to happen. And we're gonna get into it. There's the brandish. Here's just how fast it shoots. Trying to go for too, too long because you know, shit will freeze and crash. And let's get this assault shot out here. Bring him up, we'll go in the vats just because this thing's kind of crazy to control. And just frozen. Frozen like Sub Zero. This here is the prototype 113. This is one of my more favorite guns to use only because of how the projectile is and what happens when it hits the target. Show you what it looks like, what kind of damage that it does, and of course, bring out a good pal assault tron. It's the brandish, pretty standard. Good old scope on it. That's what the projectile looks like. It's just flying. This is it on impact. And our good buddy, Mr. Assault tron. He dodged it. I mean, it's all right. Oh, I got to reload. Apparently. Do one more. This time we're gonna do a VATS. And right in the torso. Oh. No, oh, still got him. Nothing left. Just disintegrated at that point. So embarrassed he self destruct again. Alright, now this one is pretty insane. This one has a bunch of different variables, like I was saying earlier. You can have it and customize the different ammunition, so you have it in just a couple different guns and lines, you know, lineups. This one is the Quick High Capacity Advanced PTRS-41. Locks onto the target, fire and forget. The range, it says inferior, but it's really not. The thing's crazy. And then you can change the ammo type to a 14.5mm self-guided ammunition. Standard brandish. It's the sound that it makes. Things just monsters. Let's get the Saltron out here. There's the fire, or the target that I fired. And I forgot that he was there, because he's now dead. <laughs> and uh, you can't do multiple targets, unfortunately. It, you can only just do one. So you have to pick the one you actually want to hit. There, kind of thing. So yeah. That's kind of a more unnecessary, disgusting aimbot. Now this one right here is a throwback to the Fallout 3 Ripper, can opener, man opener, whatever you want to call it. It's the radioactive red man opener. 
just completely ignores damage resistance. So, can get to it. There's the brandish. Shows a little bit. That's you know the block. Late spin. And our good pal, Mr. Assault. We're gonna get a couple of these guys out here. He starts backing up the scene and he's going to get the touch right in there. Nothing they can do about it. I'll take off his other leg. Completely and utterly useless now they are. This one is the recoil compensated advanced type 76C Chinese anti PA rifle. This thing is just disgusting. I mean, it's a ridiculous sniper rifle. Again, it's another one of those you change it however you want. This one specifically has. 50 cal mod, it's just high explosive incendiary, armor piercing damage. There's the gun brandish, scope, night vision on this one because you know, another one of those crazy sounding guns. Saltron out and watch him just disappear. <laughs> and there's a self destruct because he's embarrassed again. Now this one, it just, it's just silly. It's the Recon Advanced QBU 7620 Black Shark. Part of it's cut off, I apologize, but it says blow out the target, just completely blow the back right out, annihilate them. Higher damage recoil, ignores 100% of the target's damage resistance, range is poor, yeah, that's bullshit, they just do it for laughs and giggles. Exchange for a radioactive projectile and change the ammo type to the 20mm Spano. This thing is just disgusting. Brandish. This one has a night vision on it. This is more just like the uh, light thermal, if you will. And it shots do. Another crazy sound. Just insane. Good old pal, Assaultron. And no more Mr. Assaultron. This one here, we got the Stabilized Cryo GRL-45. Now, as it says in the title, it's a cryo-based weapon. However, you can change the ammunition of it to whatever you want. This is just a grenade launcher with some really special ammo attributes to it. And it's really fun and the thing is practically hit scan. I mean, it does have some drop off with bullet velocity, but it definitely goes a lot further than most grenade launchers normally would. So I'm gonna show you all of them and see how they work. You got your brandish right here, it's pretty neat. There it is, freezing all the dead ones. <laughs> and as you can see, you know, this thing, like, you see the drop off, but it still goes pretty far. I'm gonna get this guy out, toss him, and no more. He is now frozen. Move on with the next one. Weapons bench, grenade launcher, ammo type, high explosive, high explosive. Same thing, doesn't really change the bullet velocity, none of them do. Gotta do a quick reload right here, and in the process of that, we get our Mr. Assaultron out. Explosive, and he never stood a chance. There goes his legs. Let's get on with the next mod. Incendiary. Now this incendiary mod is actually really crazy. As you can see, just all of that from one. I'm hoping I didn't destroy any of my uh, machines back there, but hey, if I did, then oh well. It is what it is, so. That's what it looks like, and this is the test. legs and just incinerated it's nuclear here's the nuclear attachment just, re just like your regular old mini nuke or mr. assaultron all of them they just one they never stood a chance <laughs> look at all of them and two they're a great test dummy Plasma. So the plasma ammo mod 
is just like that other one I showed you, the prototype 115. Except instead of there being that slight delay, this one, as soon as it hits on impact, boom. We get that plasma ball. So there he is, and there he is. Absorbed by the plasma ball. And there's that good old self-destruct. Let's get on with the next weapon. Now there's two versions to this one. This is the standard version. I'm not going to tell you what the next one is, but let's see what the standard one does first. Standard brandish. <laughs> There's the shot. Regular old cannonball, you know. You can go pretty crazy with it. Got our homie Assaultron out here. We're going to bat it up, though, on this one a couple times. There goes the good old cannonball. Oh! Completely just wrecked his armor. Obliterated. Let's get on with the other variant. Here's the other variant. This one, instead of cannonballs, shoots nuka balls. Bullet velocity is kind of brutal. Not gonna lie. basically your normal nuke and we all know how that works out so get him out here and do that test on me no more mr. assaultron bye bye now this one is called the last minute you may want to call it the 11th hour but they call it the last minute basically in exchange for an explosive incendiary projectile it ignores 25% of the target damage resistance and just completely annihilates whoever it comes in contact with. Normal Brandish. This one is another one of those variant guns, like I said. There's your normal shot. That's what the sound's like. That's kind of what it goes when it hits the wall. And then there's your Assaultron. Get ready for this. If I can actually hit the guy. Alright, so, looks like we're gonna have to bat it up. Mr. Assaultron. Thanks, Reaper. Let's see what the next one brings. So this one is actually my favorite gun to use in Fallout 4 for modded guns. It's your standard 10mm pistol. It's a two-shot, but the reason why it's my favorite is because you have all of these death attachments, and it literally just means death. It's fully automatic, and it has the potential to kill Liberty Prime. So, let's see what it does. And how it works against this Assaultron. Nice little brandish. You know, kind of a little click click action going on. Got to be a little careful though, because when I do this, you know, I potentially freeze the game, or because so many of the sound effects are going, it'll actually cut out and you won't hear any more bullet animation or uh, bullet effects. So, it looks like when you hit the ground, you know, ping ping, ping ping ping. ping. And there's a good old assault shot. We just never stood a chance, because this thing is a monster. Ah. The coveted BFG-9000. The big fucking gun from Doom. Now, the two-shot doesn't work. You don't see the two-shot projectiles, but it does actually add an additional amount of damage. So, I'm going to show you how it works and what it looks like. It's like when you just shoot the sky and the sound. It's pretty sweet. What happens when it hits on impact? Let's uh, shoot and then. Yeah, there we go. Now let's get this out. No more. Let's try and get one further out. This thing is just crazy. It's actually got to hit the target though, it won't just skate on by like it does in the other Doom games where if it goes on by, you get those electrical uh, strikes, you know, those branches that go off and hit the uh, all the other monsters around. But yeah, that's the BFG 9000. Here we got your two shot Fat Man. Now, the two shot doesn't work. Again, I don't know why, but this is a special kind of Fat Man. And the reason why it's special is it's got some crazy, crazy ammunitions to it. I'll show you what I mean. 
And this is what I mean. I can literally just shoot endlessly and not stop. Send out basically however many that I want. To the point of nothingness. <laughs> literally just nothing. Absolutely crazy. So yeah, that's that modded fat boy. This right here, this is the two-shot improved automatic laser rifle. But this is a special one. Now I showed you something kind of similar to this. But as you can see, it's got a car emitter. But what makes this special is the fact that it's an automatic. Let me show you what I mean. So here's your brandish, clicks on the emitter, standard sight. But for this one, we're gonna go into this view. Look how crazy this is. It's literally just <laughs> tons and tons and tons of cars. All at your disposal in a full rain, fully automatic, free fire gun. Here's a fun troll gun for you. It's a two shot melon cider. Again, two shot doesn't work. It basically just adds a little bit of extra damage. So I don't even know why I put them on. But it literally shoots melons. And it's actually pretty powerful. So show you how it works and how it kills. There's your brandish. Pretty big gun. Shoot, you can see the melon. He loads the melon. Go again. And if you can see it's actually got uh, a person, a little melon dude, sitting on the front of it. Later on in the video, you'll be able to see what I mean. So, let's see what happens when we get a Sultron out here. Hey man, his head. There's nothing left of him. It's melon cider. It's pretty brutal, if you ask me. So this one is the second variant to that T-Shooter, <clears throat> except this time it's been infused with the power of Nuke, and it is crazy, but it's also pretty cool, and it looks cool, so I'll show you how it is. There's Brandish, and as you can see it's fully automatic. Recoil on it's just insane, and this is what the shots look like when it hits. Got your regular reload to it. And here's the Assaultron. Be our good old test dummy. And no more is he our test dummy because he is now on fire. So this one may look like your standard two shot quad barrel missile launcher. But the thing about it is it's got a targeting computer on it. And this thing is by far one of the coolest mods that I've seen. And I'm going to show you exactly why. I think it is one of the coolest mods just because of what happens. Make sure you pay attention to the missile. Alright, so this one, for me to show you properly, I have to send Mr. Soltron kind of on a little adventure. So, here we go. Toss him out. Spawned up. We've got the mark. And you can just see that shit go. <laughs> the thing is great. That's what I love so much about this one, is you can literally just anything, anywhere, as soon as you see it, and just shoot, and it's going to go toward it. You literally just see that shit wrap around and go to him. Third time's a charm, just because I'm enjoying it, and I hope you guys are. Look at that, like, it's just absolutely silly. <laughs> I mean, you can't ask for anything better. This one right here, this is the UP7715. The very first gun that I showed you, this is its brother. Another one you can do, you can change up all the variants. The first one had the 400 MN, or excuse me, NM wavelength. This one has the 700, so the damage is a lot less, but the bullet velocity is supposed to be a lot better. Anyways, I'll show you how it works. Here it is. Neat nifty little gun. See my 100 count where my ammo is in the bottom right? See how it's at 100? Watch how fast this goes down. This thing is just crazy. It's a crazy little machine gun and it just doesn't move. And I can literally send it wherever and spot on perfect every time. 
wherever I want it to go. So we get him out, and now we send him to the place where he's got to go. And it's good old strafe shots. Sorry, bud, but got to do some testing, and now on for the final gun. Here it is, the X12 Plasma Caster. It's another one of those, you know, customize however you want. Do anything you want with it, magazine, the barrel, the rail. The rail is basically what attachments you want on it, whether a flashlight or uh, you can put a laser beam on it, you know, a nice little laser sight. But I got this one built this way. It's clean, simple. I'm going to show you how it works. Here's the brandish. It's pretty cool. Nice deep little scope. There's little shots that you can do. You know, just little blue orbs. test dummy and now he's no more so that's it I'm gonna wrap this up don't be mad I lied this is actually the last one the good old two-shot hydrogen bomb big boy the coveted just world destroyer now unfortunately again two-shot doesn't work I don't know why but I would really like it to and people said that they couldn't hear what it sounded like, so I'm going to shoot it right at my feet. Let you guys hear the explosion sound yourself. Bom, bom, bom. Look at that. I'm just stuck. It's got to catch up. Thing's brutal. But yeah. That's how it is. That's that sound. And just for uh, one good time, I'll shoot it right in the center right here. Let it do its thing. Hear the explosions. Now we just gotta wait for all the animations and everything to kick up. And there we go. Those are the modded guns. Alright, so in this part, I'm going to show you that that's a lot of damage mod. And, you know, it's a fun, funny, cool little mod. But the thing about it is if you overkill it, it gets a little annoying. The only downside to it is this mod replaces the sound effect for all of your explosions. So that can be a little annoying. But if you enjoy it, you know, by all means, go for it. I'm not knocking it. It's just something I personally don't enjoy hearing every single time I try sending one out. But it is funny as hell. You guys are going to hear it. So if you haven't seen it or hear it, here we go. And you guys are going to experience what I had to experience. So I'm going to throw that one at you just after this. So this is what it is. It's what it sounds like. All right. Got to make sure you guys can hear it. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. All right. Now for this one, I'm going to send it off. And uh, I'm going to wait until it's done because you're not going to be able to hear me. Uh, as much as I want you to, you're not going to do something. I'm just going to send it off for... You know, a couple seconds, and then we'll get back into it. All right, you ready? Let's go. That's a lot of damage. 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 And now we're back. So. That's the uh, that's a lot of damage mod. So if you like it, go download it. If not, that's okay. So that's it, guys. Those are all the weapon mods that I use. At the end, I'm going to show you everything that I have in my list. So if you guys want to go and download them yourself, you can. Let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed it, what you liked, what you didn't like. Anything you'd like to see, I'll try and download it and get the mods. As you can see behind me, my whole entire arena is just fucked right now because of all the testing. So make sure you hit that like button and down in the description below if you want to hit up my Discord, my Twitch, or even my Twitter, even the TikTok. Do a couple funny videos and shit like that. So go check them out. I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace, yo.
I do know what is best for you. Ooh, ooh, ooh.